Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs in video games, and today I'm playing Rain World. So this time on Rain World, one of the things that I would like to do is go to the giant pipe that we found last time and try to go up it. Now, what we need to do to do that is first figure out where that giant pipe was so we can attempt to go to it. I think it's there. So, how do we get all the way over there? Let's... Let's see. Apparently we need to go right a whole lot. Let's start by going right a whole lot. Alright. The goal is to go right this day. And the first thing we need to do is go over here. I know that I was able to go through this, but also there is... There is a dolphin that would make it a lot easier. I think I'm going to just try. Just try to swim through this again. We did it once before, so we should be able to do it again. We just have to get over here fast enough. Go up, go up, go up. And we survive. Barely, I'm sure. It doesn't look like we're choking right now, but it kind of expected us to be choking. All right, let's continue going right. And while I'm doing this, I have an apology that I feel the need to deliver. You see, many times I have been frustrated or dismissive of Tutorial Man's advice and guidance. I have complained often that he has been inconsistent guiding me and then suddenly ceasing to guide me at seemingly random times. But I know now that Tutorial Man is simply doing his best. And if that there is anyone in this relationship that has been inconsistent, it has been me. I have followed my own whims of random exploration, and that has stifled or mitigated the effectiveness of Tutorial Man's guidance. You see right now he's telling me to go right, and I will go right. Tutorial Man only wants the best for me. He provides purpose above and beyond survival. Ooh, let's go to the left. He wants us to go left. And he shows me and warns me of food and danger. So thank you, Tutorial Man. I resolve to be a better companion, and I hope you forgive me as we press on and explore this world more at your direction. Anyway, that's all I have to say, but again, thank you, Tutorial Man, and let's try to go up here to where I believe you want me to go. And all of a sudden, I can see that it might be difficult. <laughs> all right, let's go. Ooh, I can go, I can go through on the right, but I can't go through on the left. How interesting. We can leap across, though, right? Yes, oh, we can. We can leap across, I just have to do it. Leap across, go up, and... Oh, that's a scary thing in the water right there. Let's be scared of that. I don't know if I should go right or left right now. I'm guessing I should go right. So let's move to the right. Okay. That... Okay, actually, you know what? It looks like I can't go to the right. And we avoided that creature. I am very confident that creature kills me, by the way. So maybe we go left here, since I can't go right. I mean, the other option is down, but we just came from A down. I don't know. Let's go down this one. This is someplace we've been before. We were here last time. Most likely, we probably want to go back up, I think. I'm not really sure. But let's try to go back up. 
Oh gosh. All right, so that might kill me right now. Yep, that killed me right now. <laughs> that was guarding the exit right there. <laughs> it was guarded very obviously. Also, that's a reminder that we got the saint last time, by the way. The dragon slayer embraces the hunt. They have brought this beasts of the world to heal. Oh my. The Dragon Slayer. I'm sure that's a hint. But it's a hint of... Of what? Maybe it's a hint that I... I can do something if I try to slay the, the giant beasts. Ooh. I would like to grab onto you. You left. That... That dolphin did not really help me. <laughs> it just left. All right. We made this last time. Actually, we did not do well right there, so let's try again. Go. Uh oh I am swimming pretty well. I think we will survive. I think we will survive. We survived. All right. Now that we survived, we can go even more to the right. We're basically going the same path as we did the last time. Trying to follow Tutorial Man if we can. That t dolphin just came directly out of the wall there, by the way. I would like to eat the food in this room again. So let's try to do that. The easiest way to do that is if we can go up here. Great. Oh, I didn't finish eating my first food. There we go. And then leap across and eat some more food. One more and we'll be fully satiated, which is always good. I like being fully satiated while we're going around. Because that means, why, why am I in the water? Okay, great. Eat this food. If we're fully satiated, then we can rest at any time and we can rest again immediately after. So I recall Tutorial Man telling us to go left. So we will go left. And then we went up last time. I don't know that that really brought us anywhere. It'd be nice if we could go down, but down requires there to be a dolphin. Thrust it, whoa, that is a creature. We're now going up. <laughs> that is terrifying, isn't it? Especially since we know that it kills us. It killed us last time. I'm eagerly watching for Tutorial Man to tell us a place to go. Eagerly. Please let me know, Tutorial Man. Okay, there's another one right there. So last time we discovered that we can't go right here. We can go left. And the last time we went down through the water on the left. I think I want to go up this way this time. I guess we could try going even more left. I'm not sure if we can or if the room just ends. The room just ends. Okay, well, let's go this way. And see if we can do something from here. So if nothing else... We can go down a couple different places. It looks like we've gone a lot of places on the left. We actually came in at the bottom portion. Let's try to go all the way to the left, I think. Yeah, let's go all the way to the left. I know earlier I said we were going to go right. We're now going left. Watch out for those grabber-ons that are there. Ooh, I did not see what it, what Tutorial Man told me. He did tell me a thing, though. Riding the dolphin over this way makes it much faster. And then we know... I don't know if we can actually go up that pipe. I just thought for a second there that if I had stayed on the dolphin, I could have tried to jump up as high as I could and see if I could get up there. Here, it does not look like we can go up. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yes, we can, because there's a there's a pipe right above me that we can go through. Let's go through this. And this is one of those pipes that we have not mapped, by the way. We just have we just have an empty space in our map. So we're gonna go down and map the fact that this pipe is connected to the room below it. That helps for the future when we look at our map. So now, let's actually go up in this room, and once we do, we can make a decision about what to do next. We can go up in this room by going across and jumping. Good. Haha. -ha. Now that we're here, can we go more left? Because going more left would be good. It looks like there's lots of things that we could ride. Great, we're going left. We're going very far left. Aho! Alright, go back in the water. You like the water. I'm going to go through this. Okay, this is this is new to us. We've never been here. There's also more in the water back there that we could explore if we wanted to just explore the room. Ooh, that's green water. Is green water okay or does it hurt? Seems like green water is okay. You know, for for some meaning of okay. There's something on the other side of that. You can see the color, which makes me kind of worried, but it doesn't mean that I'm not going to go in. I just might immediately come back out. Oh, oh. there's a gate. Ooh, okay. You know what? We're going to rest right here. And then we're going to go up that gate. Is there something in here? No, there's not. It's just unspecified vegetation. All right, let's explore a new area. How about that? Exploring a new area will be kind of neat. And I'm eager to see if there's anything on this screen that we would care to see. No. All the normal things. Those are the three passages we have gotten and the Wanderer. That's what we expect to see. Okay, so what's the new area going to be? I'm very curious. And there's, there's food right here in this room. It's food that needs to be wet, however. Let's get some food before we go into the new area so that we can guarantee that we can... We can... What is it called? Rest in the new area? So, eat a little bit of food. That's enough. I don't... Well, actually, there's food right here. Let's get the, the last of the food right here. That's also a stick, which is nice. I'm going to put down the stick for right now. Put down the stick for right now. Get the food. And then eat this food that will make us fully satiated. That means that if we find anything, any place to rest once we go through the gate, we can rest and save the fact that we've gone through that gate, which is very nice. All right, let's go. We even have a stick with us. And it doesn't matter what the requirement is. The requirement is very small. I think that's level 2. The karma level 2. We're at full karma though, so no matter what the requirement was, we could make it. We're going into green water land. And there's even a rest spot right there. I wonder if I should use that rest spot just to save that we've gone in. I don't know, let's go a little bit further. I see the grabber ons in the water, by the way. We're going to avoid going directly in that water. I'm waiting to see the name of the area. There is one of those things. I don't think those things are dangerous. Yeah, I don't think those things are dangerous, so we can just move past them. And there is food here, which is nice to see. 
Okay, well, that was not my intended way across the room, but it worked. So let's be happy that we made it across the room. Don't see anything from Tutorial Man. Oh, the grabber on is on the flying thing. Oh man, the flying things are beset by the grabber ons. The garbage waste. Oh, how about that? This is not an entirely new area. We've been to some other section of the garbage waste, which I I can't see on my map. We came here from the industrial yard, I think. But then I immediately used my passage, and so I've never explored this area. We've just peeked our head into it. So now is the time. Now is the time to explore and discover. So that, that right there is food, but we don't need it. This thing is going to take my stick. Fine. Take my stick. Whatever. Lost my stick to those creatures. There is another one of these, too. How about that? So there's a lot of food up this way. Just in case we desperately need the food. Whoa, okay. Scavenger Toll. Hello. I... Can I go across, or are you going to make me pay something? Because <laughs> I don't have anything to pay. <laughs> Maybe we can go... We can go over? <laughs> There's sticks up here. I do not know if I want to grab a stick. Let's grab one stick. Okay, let's put that on the stick. Okay, okay. Oh, he killed me. He killed me. I got... <laughs> I got killed. <laughs> Alright, what do you do there? Oh, also, we need to go through the gate once again. And I think I'm going to rest directly past the gate this time. Our level was saved due to the yellow flower. Throw an object backward during a slide to dramatically increase the distance covered by the slide. Interesting. This... This game has a lot of very niche movement abilities that it would be very difficult to master. So we, kn we saw that there was a bunch of food, but also there's not food immediately on the other side of the gate. So let's, let's go over here and eat this food right here. We don't really need to eat much because there's a bunch of food on the other side. We just need to eat enough to rest at the one place. There we go. We've eaten some food. Now let's go through to the garbage wastes. I guess we'll take a stick. It will be immediately taken from me, probably. But maybe we can use it to eat some of those... that flower vegetation, the red flower. Back into the garbage wastes, and we will save right here in this room so that we save the fact that we're in the garbage wastes. I think I'm technically going backward. Part of the reason I believe that is because the gate required a lower thing on the right than it did on the left. But we're going backward in such a way that it is new places for me to go, not old places that we've been. So I'm happy to do it. We rest, we eat our food, and... There should be nothing, there's something. Oh, the Wanderer and the Nomad. Oh right, the Wanderer and the Nomad, of course. Whoa, there's water in here this time. How interesting. The water ebbs and flows, maybe? So we could just go across the bottom of this room. I went across the top before, but I don't entirely see a reason to do that. Except to avoid the grabber ons, which I apparently just did anyway, so... You know, there was no reason. There is such a rumbling in the world today. Should I worry about that? 
I mean, every time the world has rumbled like that, I haven't noticed anything in particular other than the rumbling of the world. Ooh, it is very rainy this day. Interesting. Oh man, because it's rainy, I have a hard time moving in the rain. That's so cool, and also might make it pretty hard. I was going to eat that, but I dropped my stick in the water, by the way. So I can't eat that this time. I'm going to have to find more things to eat. There's a couple things to eat right here. Oh gosh. Am I dying in the rain? I, I don't know where I am. Oh, there I am. I'm not dead. There's a lizard in there? <laughs> How did I avoid the lizard? <laughs> I don't recall avoiding the lizard. <laughs> Maybe the rain saved me. It's possible. Okay, so now... The scavengers? The scavengers are mostly not here because of the rain, I guess. So I did not steal their stick this time, so they left me alone. Just don't steal their stick and you'll be fine. I think that's the lesson. Don't steal their stuff. It's like a little village that they've made right there. Oh, there's a little... There's one of those. So one of the things about those little balls is I just... What? What is... It's telling me to pick up the ball. Okay. I picked up the ball. Great. Was there a reason to have the ball? I'm very curious. These pearls are valued by the scavengers. <laughs> oh, that was actually what I was guessing. Because... Because we saw so many of them over here. So can I give this? Can I give these? It's called a pearl, apparently. Can I give this to the scavengers? Here you go. Here's a pearl. They took it. Haha. -ha. And they went away. All right. I guess that is the scavenger toll. You have to give them a pearl. How cool. I really like that. Also, Evil Tutorial Man is here. What is Evil Tutorial Man here for? I don't know what to do with Evil Tutorial Man. Oh, Evil Tutorial Man is still here. Interesting. What are you following me for? If you start giving me directions, I don't know whether, whether to follow them. Ooh, you're still here. Oh my gosh, the rain. With this rain, there's no way I can cross the room. Okay, it let up. It let up, so we can go across now. I could go down in this room, it looks like, but I would rather go across to the left, if I can. And we have to do that when the rain is not as heavy. A couple of paths here. I've got both tutorial men around me. One of them I trust, the other one I do not trust. So have we eaten today? We have not eaten today, so this is a great place to eat. Because we can eat as much as we want of this. Great. And then we can also sleep right there, which I am going to do. Let's take a stick with us, though. There is a scavenger up there. Hello, Mr. Scavenger. I'm a friend of the scavengers. Talk to your other people. I gave them a pearl. Alright. We should lose our progress in the Nomad. That's what I expect this night. And we did. We lost our progress in the Nomad, as expected. I think the Nomad Passage is going to be difficult to do, and we're going to have to specifically spend time doing it. The Saint is a path of pacifism, 
To bring harm to another is to bring harm to oneself. We got the saint passage, which makes me think that the other ones we've been hinted at are also passages, because we've been shown the chieftain and the dragon slayer. Perhaps the dragon slayer is a passage. We know the chieftain is a passage. We just have no concept, however, what how to get it. So can we can we go up here if I use my stick? I think we can. Yes, definitely, especially when I put the stick that high. There's lots of places to explore. I don't know which way to go, so let's just go down here. So there's one of those things. I think we can eat those things. Can we? We cannot eat it. Okay, we'll just throw it away then. It makes a beam of light, which I think calls forth a flying monster, a vulture. So we should be careful with those. Also, where do we want to go in this room? Tutorial Man just told me that danger is above us. That makes me not want to go up. Yeah, there's danger above us. So let's stay over here. There's bat flies right here. There's a bunch of food. There's also another hibernate spot right there. Huh. So now that we know that there's a path of the monk, there's the monk passage, which is path of the vegetarian. I wonder if all, there's also a passage for being a carnivore. And if so, does eating only bat flies count? I'm curious. I think that would be interesting to do, to just attempt to not eat vegetation at all and see if we get, get some progress in a passage from doing that. Nothing this night. I just wanted to rest because we had full food. There's food in this room and it resets the day. I want to go out. There we go. So I said there's food right there. If we eat that food, we don't get to find out if there is a path of the carnivore. However, should I just eat food anyway? We're just exploring right now. Probably should have just eaten food anyway. We can go either down or left. Curious to see what's down in this room before we decide. That is very scary. Let's... Let's go up, I guess. <laughs> Tutorial man, is that danger? I assume that's danger, but would you mind confirming that assumption? Yes. Tutorial man says that is danger. I am not surprised in the slightest. There's more vegetation to eat here. We should probably eat the vegetation, although this is a good time to find out if we can eat snails. Because there's a snail right there. And we have a stick in our hand. So let's see if we can spear a snail. I, I drop my stick. <laughs> that... That ruins my ability to test that theory. There's another stick over here, right? Yes. Alright, we're gonna try to spear a snail. I missed. Come on, get the stick. Alright, I see a snail. Got it. Alright, can we, can we do anything with the snail now that we've speared it? I... I think I may have killed the snail, but I don't know that it accomplished anything. Whoa! He threw a spear, presumably at me. Presumably at me? I don't know. Let's, let's eat some food. And that means bringing these down here and eating them. So there's another bug. I know I can I know I can shoot that bug. Shoot it. 
I mean, spear it. I know I can spear that bug. I've speared one of those before. But I don't know that I can eat it. And the snail is apparently gone. I mean, I see it still in the water, but... I don't get to test anything out with the snail, apparently. What's that? It's a thing. Okay, <laughs> it spews ink or something? <laughs> Let's get away. I think that's poison. <laughs> oh, those, the centipedes? Great, there are centipedes here? How awful. Well, we can rest, we can spear a centipede. The centipede went into the rest spot? That's annoying. I don't want to wake up with a centipede. Let's peek our head over here. Oh, oh, there's one of those. Do we already have protection? We do not. Let's get protection. But I really do want to rest here, because, you know, there's a rest spot. It saves. It saves our progress. I like saving progress. Aha, we speared it. Okay, next question. Can we eat a centipede? We can. I just ate a centipede, and it gave me more than one food to eat a centipede. Ho ho, I should I should actually get my stick. Yeah, get the stick, then go back down. Ho ho, we can eat the little centipedes. That's interesting. That's very interesting. We should do that. We we killed a a snail for no reason. It doesn't show that we killed the centipede, though, which is interesting. Maybe because it was a, a small centipede? I don't know. But I think if we, if we do that again... <laughs> tap the jump button right. Right when coming out of a pipe to propel yourself quickly outward. Okay. I mean, that makes sense, actually. I think I've done that before. So if there are more of those little centipedes, let's kill and eat them and see if we can make progress in the hunter. Because we've made progress in the hunter before. Oh, I missed. I missed again. They they went down into the hibernate spot. They're trying to be safe. I mean, were there centipedes back here? I don't remember there being centipedes back here. There's the crazy poison monster. All right, let's not mess with the poison monster this time. Can we just go go into the hibernate spot where the centipedes are and spear them in there? That's like such close quarters, though. I don't know. That's too close quarters for me to actually do anything, I think. If we go down there, can we get back up? You know, I really do want to see if I can I can just eat a whole bunch of centipedes. Okay. Let's see if we can we can defeat centipedes inside the hibernate spot. Oh, did I did I spear it? I did. Ho ho. Great. So I want to defeat that one too. Got it. All right. And then we eat this one, and then we hibernate, and we see if we made a path, a passage progress. I assume we did. I assume we're making progress in the hunter from doing that, by the way. That's my assumption. And I am very eager to find new passages that we could theoretically get. Let's see. We have not made progress in the Hunter, as I thought we might. Huh. Did we not... Hmm. Don't actually understand that. I really would have expected that we've made progress in a passage from doing that. Let's try to do something like that again today. And see if we make progress this time. Because I know sometimes you don't make progress immediately, but you make progress later. Okay, well, we can go in the water and go through that. 
my swimming skills are up to snuff these days. Granted, we should go up here so that we can breathe. This is where we were before, isn't it? I don't know. Actually, I think this is new. There appears to be something in the water. One of those grabber-ons. Okay, let's not go there. There are those those ones, the swipers. Is there... Okay, <laughs> get away. <laughs> nope, grabber-on. I avoided the grabber-on. Also, the flying creature is coming here. Let's move through here. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to lose my stick if I go past this way, but you know what? We're going to lose our stick. What? What? Why are you attacking me? I don't know that it actually was attacking me. It just seemed like it was for a second there. Could we go up there? I can't imagine a way for us to go up there, but it'd be interesting if we could. Have we connected back to some place we've been? It feels like we've seen this before. We have. We have seen this before, and that does not bother me. <laughs> All right. There is a bat fly. No, we could eat a bat fly. That, that counts to me in, in what we're doing. We're being a carnivore, eating bat flies. Can we go over here? We can. Great. There's, there's some path over here. I said that because there's a stick. I wanted the stick. don't really care about the mushrooms or the pearl. just wanted the stick. So we did not go one of these paths, right? We have gone all of these paths, but there is a rest place right above me. And we've got time, though. We don't have to rest. It might be nice to just to... just to establish that we are here. And that we've continued to be a carnivore? I don't know. We could go up... What? Wait a minute. You can't stick a stick in that wall? Really? That doesn't look like a non-stickable wall. Okay, we can't go up there, apparently. Oh no, they grabbed. If we can't go up there, where are we going? I guess we can go up left over here again. I wonder if we can actually, like, we can't put our stick in that wall either? What nonsense. All right, I found some non-stickable walls. This feels like it's going backward so much. I've never been, I've never been one of the paths back here though. So let's keep going back and explore a new path this way. We've never been up in this room, for one, because we were told that there was danger above previously. That might still be true. Oh, there's the the evil, the evil tutorial man. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I found the danger. I put my stick in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm glad I was holding a stick. That's the only reason we survived there. Because I, I immediately threw my stick into the beast right after it got me. We got another stick, that's always good. There's more sticks up there, so we could put this stick here and get that stick. Interesting. Why is there that other tutorial man following me this way? It's interesting, it makes me want to go this way. So do we continue going right or do we go down? Let's go down first. Down leads left, which immediately just connects back to the room we were in. So let's go through this room slightly so that it gets mapped better. There appears to be a down path. Oh, that looks like a super hidden down path. Ho oh, ho, there's a thing. We got a thing. What did we get? Sandbox item unlocked. And it has a little red thingamabob. Alright. 
we found a secret spot. It's It doesn't have a little arrow telling you you can go down there. Oh, oh I found a secret. And I was rewarded by a sandbox item. I, I assume that means I could use the game mode named Sandbox and use that item. I assume. Ooh, look at those. We don't have a pearl to give them, but I could get one. I noticed one in the room over here. So maybe if we get a pearl... Whoa, okay. Or, or we die. <laughs> we instead died. All right. Well, you know what? We still got a blue bit. I'm very happy to have gotten a blue bit. And we had protection so we don't lose a level. All right. I'm going to do... One last day here. Ooh, the Scholar. The Scholar seeks to understand the world as it once was, gazing into a crystallized past and finding new meaning within it. I have no idea how you could potentially get that. But now that I think that those clues are passages, I am very interested to try different things. All right, I want to look at my map. There we go. Where have we not gone? We mainly haven't gone left. And the way to get left is to go up. Up and then down and the left. So we can go down here through this. And then there is a down path way down there, which I am interested in. Potentially. Yeah, we could go down that extremely down path. Also, I think that there is a flying monster coming after me. If I saw that correctly. So let's go all the way down this way. Um, we're going to die. <laughs> because it's just all water down there. <laughs> okay, uh... Sure. Let's let's not make that the last day. Let's actually rest successfully. Do we get another hint? We did not get another hint that time. All right, same pathway, but this time we're not going to go down and drown. I would like to see the map of that, though. I wonder if you could just continue going down. I wonder. If you were really fast about it, I wonder if you could go through here, down, and then just keep going down. I'm not going to try it this time, but I'm definitely thinking about it as something we could try in the future. Oh, oh, a grabber on. All right. What do we do? We go up here to get away from the grabber on. We do need food, so there's food right here. Okay, we are going to go this way. Hello? Hello, scavenger person. Hello, scavenger person. I am not attacking you. I am eating this food. I'm going past you. I'm going very far past you. <laughs> You apparently have been beset by a flying monster. I had a grabber on, try to get on me. The flying monster is still kind of above. The grabber ons are awful. The grabber ons are really trying. So I, I want to go left. Obviously, there's a reason to not go that way, <laughs> because there's a flying monster that way. But I still want to go left. Maybe we can get one of these and eat it while we're here. Let's try going left. And I, I was trying to jump. There we go. Now we get to keep our stick, because we went over the swiper. There's a whole bunch of food right there. But we don't need it currently. And we've never been left. Let's find a hibernate spot and sleep in the hibernate spot whenever we find it. 
That could be any direction in this room. Oh man, that looks like a terrible place to be down there. Look at all those grabberons. All right. Let's go left. I think that a hibernate spot will probably be below rather than above. No? Now let's try going up. Now that we saw what was that way. Also, I've noticed that Tutorial Man hasn't given me much direct direction. Scavenger Merchant. If we put down our stick, does he take the stick? He does. Interesting. Okay. Well, have your stick then. <laughs> I'm happy to have given you a stick. I don't know... I assume if we give him a, a pearl, he'll like that. He's a merchant. What does he do with the pearl? Also, I really wish I had my stick now. But I do see more sticks down there. And we are actually rather satiated, so maybe we don't hit those plants. We save hitting those plants for a potential future time. And we keep going down, because where are we going? I mean... We're going lots of places. I am opening up the map of this area quite a lot, it seems. We're going to get popped by some snails. Boop. Alright. Can we get our stick back? We did. Great. Keep going left. There is one of those. He's going to steal my stick. Silly swiper, stealing my sticks. Also, the grabber ons are red in this area. I wonder if that is... Ooh, there's a gate over here. What? All right. Well, let's go in a gate. There's a hibernate spot right here. All right, let's go through the gate next time. We have never been through that gate. All right. That's going to be new next time, too. This is... This is a lot of new stuff. I like it. We have learned a ton of things. Particularly, we've learned a lot about the scavenger this time. And we got a lot of hints about passages, which we will have to remember. We also learned that we can eat centipedes. The small ones. Only the small ones. Great. I am quite happy with the progress this time. We actually explored the garbage waste a little bit, and we're going to do a new area next time. In this episode, I discovered two new subregions, both within the Garbage Wastes. Those were the Scavenger Toll and the Scavenger Merchant. I also collected my first ever blue bit, which I found in a little secret part of a room. In addition, I learned the existence of the Scholar and the Dragon Slayer, which I assume are passages to be achieved. Check out my tracking sheet, link in the video description. New episodes every Sunday, and thanks for watching.